When we got to the mainland, we found the space elevator's support facility. I guess this was the factory where they built the gigantic structure the elevator traveled in. There was this little girl sitting in front of a mural. When the princess saw her, she shuddered like she'd seen a ghost. The girl had a stuffed animal. This was the day after the shit went down at Tyler Island. She walked right up to the princess, took her hand, and led her into the factory. One thing's for sure, they knew each other. The factory had been converted to a production line for erosion drones. It was fully automated and chugging along, making drone after drone after drone. Once they got inside, the princess stopped and just stood there. Another girl was there with a man in a lab coat. He was trying to use his keyboard, but she wouldn't let him. She took a data chip and threw it on the ground. Then she walked over to us and took the gun from the prison guard's holster. She pulled the trigger and destroyed the chip. Later, I found out that the girl with the gun and the one with the stuffed animal were sisters. They were also the granddaughters of Mihai A. Shalaji, the legendary pilot. Gramps used to talk about him. He said Mihai was the top ace from two wars ago. Know any Belkins? Because this guy was a Belkin, and they love to stir shit up. Pitting nations against other nations is a particular favorite of theirs along with developing hyper-advanced technology. That's right. I'm Belkin, born and raised. My country is gone now. Rather than surrender to its enemy, Belka detonated seven nuclear weapons on its own soil. My people scattered around the globe, living in the shadows of other countries. We had a new purpose, to breed wars. The theory was that through war, we could achieve our destiny and our revenge. I had just finished inputting Mihai's data when his granddaughter came in. She destroyed the only copy I had of the information I squeezed out of him. The girl loved Mihai. No one knew more than her just how hard I pushed her grandfather for that data, how much I made him sacrifice in the process. I promised his granddaughters that his efforts were not in vain, that it could end this terrible war. But in the end, it only caused more chaos and despair. We were responsible for all this damage, all this tragedy. Now, we were going to pay for it. The Erusians, once our allies, would see to that. I had lost the drive to continue my work even before I noticed Mihai's granddaughters eyeing me with suspicion that one day. I should have stopped then, for all our sakes. Mihai's granddaughter tossed the gun aside. She said if she resorted to killing, she'd just end up like the rest of us. And by us, she meant everyone, including the princess. Like me, the princess was afraid to look into the girl's eyes. She knew that by encouraging her people, she kept the war going. Mihai and his granddaughter were victims of it, and now they too were paying the price. Is this for Belka? Or for Arugia? My grandfather had only one wish, to continue soaring through the endless skies. That was the only place where he felt alive. But I don't even have a country to call home, let alone the sky. The Black Forest, the lake, they are no longer mine. Even though those lands were once cherished by my late mother. We have to learn to put that sense of nostalgia behind us and behave like mature adults. My homeland. She's right. It feels so far away now. 
The woman with the rifle approached me. She was focused on more pressing issues. I checked the computer. All of the data on the legendary Ace had already been installed. No. I pulled it before it was completed. However, there are two aircraft that are already scheduled to be manufactured based on that data. We must destroy the factory. This isn't the only one. There are more facilities just like it. And the two planes containing the data will be manufactured at one of those facilities. So, this place runs on solar power that the space elevator generates, right? How about the others? We can destroy the space elevator and cut the power to them. First things first, let's take this one out. I'll show you which locations to target. I stood there, thinking about that mural by the factory's entrance. Harling commissioned it to be painted. I realized that in the background, behind the dancing figures, the artist had painted several space elevators. I understand now. The space elevator wasn't designed to exploit Erugia after all. Good. And afterwards, we'll bring down the space elevator itself. No matter why it was built, Right now, it's the root of this chaos. I wonder. Yes? I wonder which path you would choose when looking at Harling's mirror. Let's get the briefing started. We've done enough air operations. Just let us go home. There's no path for us to get home. Whatever direction you fly, you'll be right into a hail of enemy fire. Earlier, we received a communication via the partially restored general network. Here is what it contained. Apparently, the erosion radicals have gathered around the space element. As it's a source of energy, Give the war mongers a powerful energy source, and you give them the luxury to keep on fighting. In response to this, people from both Osea and Erujia have joined forces and will take down the final arsenal bird in a saturation attack from the air to the sea. Once that's achieved, they'll take the space elevator from the aggressors. Has the source been verified? It could be fake. I hear you. But take a look at what's written at the end. Hey, dumbass, if you want to bring the world back from the brink, go to the lighthouse. You can see the future. Dumbass? Sounds familiar. Certainly does. It's from those guys we met in Tyler Island. The 444 squad. It's a message to all those looking to end the war. But I also think it's a message for trade. I guess we'll do what it says. Okay. Well then, I'm thinking we go roast that damn bird. Looks like we're all on the same page. It's time to end this war. Time to fly, guys. Let's go get that arsenal. Sortie ASAP.
There are Russian aircraft in the coalition, so they have been ID'd as friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I'm thinking it's time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Guess nobody told them. That's quite true, Count. It's not just two. Wiseman trained his squad well. Everyone still in it is an ace. He'd be proud of you all. To all of you who have gathered here, regardless of your country, this is headquarters of the Ocean Army Southern Command. Wait, you can forget that designation. We are a coalition formed exclusively for the sole purpose of taking down the Arsenal Bird. Wait until we're ready to strike the Arsenal Bird. Roger. Ross, you're always speaking on an open channel. The enemy can hear everything he's saying. There's no other choice. The Russian aircraft are in the coalition as well. This is Gold Squadron and Rigel Squadron of the Russian Air Force. We're here on our own. Lancaster, we're entering your airspace. This is C2. Oh, there's another one 
floor too. It shows a whole bunch of space elevators. Skies. Damage to the Allied fleet is extensive. 
That was some pretty impressive firepower. I, for one, did not see that coming. The active protection system operated as expected. We should launch another saturation attack. Air power. You'll slow the arsenal burn.
installed. Strider 1, missile on. 
Get the refugees to safety now! 
Cutter 2, you're hit. Are you all right? Still breathing. I won't be flying much longer, though. There's an ocean carrier a few kilometers to the west. It ran aground and was abandoned. It won't be easy, but it's the only place you got. Trigger, escort your wingman. Let's get to that carrier. That's all we can do. Nice work. You pulled off a perfect landing. Well, we're okay for the moment. Now the real challenge begins. Well, if it isn't the LRSSG, looks like our luck has turned. LRSSG, you will secure air superiority. There are Russian aircraft in the Coalition, so they've been IP this friendly via the data link. Just confirmed it. The Russian government aircraft, including drones, will show up as hostiles. You two aces, I'm thinking it's time to show us what you've got. We don't have two anymore. Guess nobody told them. That's quite true, Count. It's not just two. Wiseman trained his squad well. Everyone still entered as an ace. He'll be proud of you all. To all of you who have gathered here, regardless of your country, this is headquarters of the Ocean Army 7th Command. Wait, and forget that designation. We are a coalition formed exclusively for the sole purpose of taking down the Arsenal Bird. Wait until we're ready to strike the Arsenal Bird in Roger. Right. He's speaking on an open channel. The enemy can hear everything he's saying. There's no other choice. The Erujian aircraft are in the coalition as well. This is Gold Squadron and Rigel Squadron of the Erujian Air Force. We're here on our own. Lancaster, we're entering your airspace. This is Sol 2. I think we can pass the drone somewhere to run it. Sol 1 squadron, though. It's Mr. Rice's crew. Count, ease up. Engagement is forbidden. Don't worry, I know. We need every bird we can call upon. Even if they were flying with the guy that killed Wiseman. Some of their squadrons are in weird formations. They have bad aircraft and even AVs and slave boot. All this just to keep a war going. Locked on. Watch it. Enemy has a lock on you. We rely on machines for everything. We must protect our own lives. Locked two. Okay. Commencing transmission. I'm speaking over both terrestrial broadcasting and video transmission networks. It's not important who I know who we are. First, our line is secure. Destroy the space elevator. Second, I want power to the drone factory cut in order to put a stop to all the war and chaos that its products cause. And last, we want to bring an end to this pointless war that has given rise to a state of anarchy. Let me tell you what's going on right now. The land is overrun with refugees who have lost their homes. This is no isolated incident. In spite of that, the war continues to rage overhead. How many more do we need to take out? Shoot him down one at a time. They'll run out eventually. The UAVs were sluggish once the leader went down. Not as much. Drones without leaders are slow as hell. The biggest flaw in their slave mode. Drone leadership right there, but it is launched. Are the friendly illusions rebels or what? They're rebels. 